Oh, hi there. I didn't see you all there. Welcome to my July 4th camping trip, and as long as you're all here, you might as well join along. I'll be going through some survival tips on how to make it through the wilderness, whether it be by drinking your own urine or cutting firewood. So, we're going to have a hootin' and a hollerin' of time and just sit back, relax, and enjoy the summer. <laughs> For my next survival tip, I'll be showing you how, how to cut firewood. But I do have a confession to make. I'm really bad at cutting firewood, like really bad. I, I don't know why it is, because I'm not that unstrong of a person, but for some reason, whenever I try to cut firewood, I just, I'm really bad. So I know a lot of YouTube videos will cut as many pieces of firewood as they can under five minutes, but my goal today will be just to cut one piece of firewood in five minutes. This is the woodcutter challenge. Okay, here we go. One piece of wood. Shouldn't be too hard. I'm really, really bad at this. Ah -ha! Ah -ha! Okay, so for my next survival tip, I'll be showing you all how to pitch a tent. Please don't go there. So what I've got here is some equipment, some blankets, some rocks, some sticks. Here's a, here's a rock. And I'm gonna be seeing if I can do this under five minutes. So let's get camping. Okay, well I'm not sure if using a clothesline is cheating or not, but give me a break, I only have five minutes, and from what I've seen so far, using a clothesline doesn't make it any easier, it only makes it harder, trust me, I, I shot this scene without the clothesline, and it's still, it was a little actually easier than using a clothesline, so, alright, here we go. We're done. <sighs> okay, that was just under, uh, just about four minutes. So we, it was a success. Okay, so here we all are in my clothesline tent, and I'm rather proud of it actually. It was not easy actually. I know that doing it with a clothesline would seem like it'd make it easier, but it actually was a lot more difficult. But anyways, I got this flap here so that a person can come in and out. And these sheets are actually the same as I use at the fireside tails. Maybe I'll tell a tale in here. I was able to raise this stick and give the tent more structure. Don't go there, by the way. I know what you're thinking when I said raise this stick, but I just mean the structure. Okay. All right, so this tent is waging war on me. But anyways, uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty good four-minute tent. All right, what could be more important when you're roughing it out in the wilderness than doing a little bit of fishing? Second thought, maybe not. Okay, since it's the 4th of July and it's break time, I thought we might as well light up some fireworks. So what I've got here is about six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six sparklers. And I'm gonna light them up at the same time, but I should warn all of you that this is incredibly dangerous. So do not try this at home. Okay, here's the matches. 
All right. Let's. Let's light him up. Ah. Okay, okay. Um, false alarm. Okay, another false alarm. Ah! 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 And nothing's happening. Oh, oh gosh! Okay, um, this is our last match. So, and it went out. It wasn't really. Oh gosh, it worked. It worked. Aha! We got fireworks on the last one. Okay, okay, whoa. Happy. <coughs> okay, all right, okay. Now they're dangerous. Okay, all right, now I'm just gonna... Okay, now maybe I'll just let go of them. No, no, wait. Gotta hold on, actually. I was just gonna let go of them and just look like a wuss, but no, I've, I've gotta hold on. This is 4th of July. Okay. You know how they say on the pack you're not supposed to light six of these at the same time? They were wrong. Definitely do that. Yeah. That was rather anticlimactic, actually. Fireworks! I forgot sparklers are the worst fireworks ever. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 something, something, something. Oh, let's go ahead and drop anchor here. Ah. All right, well, seeing as how I couldn't catch any fish, I thought I might as well just uh, go ahead and dip my net into the river and see what I can scavenge up. So let's see here. Ooh, oh, oh, we got something, we got something. Almonds, haha, <laughs> got us some almonds. Okay, well, almonds are a good snack to have when you're out here in the wilderness. Um, these are actually Elmerald's almond and walnuts. And Elmerald's almond and walnuts are some of the best almonds and walnuts out there. In fact, when I'm roughing it out here in the wilderness, I always make sure to reach for a pack of Elmerald's nuts. Because if it ain't Elmerald's nuts, it ain't worth it. Don't go there. Okay, let's see what else we can get here. All right, oh, oh, I think I got something. Ah, grass. Um, I guess grass is edible. I mean, if you don't have anything else to eat, grass will, will do, I guess. Heck of a camping trip, just sitting here, eating grass, and I got a tent that's made out of two sheets and a clothesline, and fly just bit me on the leg. Okay, well, that was a rather unsuccessful snack time, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's just, um, let's go ahead and pull a banker here. Hold on, just one sec. This thing. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Let's get out of here. Okay, before I do this next challenge, I should warn all of you that drinking urine is never a good idea. There's a reason why your body gets rid of that stuff. But in a survival situation, you might be required to do things you wouldn't normally do. So what I got here is my own urine, and I'm going to go ahead and drink it. Alright, um, here it goes. Hmm. No, it's not actually that bad. Yeah. Mm. You know, I was it's a little warm, I'll admit that. But it actually just kind of tastes like really warm water to be honest. All right, I'll admit that wasn't that wasn't exactly the easiest challenge I've ever done. All right. It wasn't too bad though actually. 
I'm just kidding with you guys. It wasn't urine. It was Mountain Dew. See? See right here? <laughs> gotcha. You thought I drank my own urine. Okay, so apparently there was two cups. One of them was filled with urine, and the other one was filled with Mountain Dew. And there's no way of telling which is which since they both spilled out on the ground, and the urine was just I was taking it to the doctor to be tested. So, I mean, I guess it's up to you guys. Uh, what do you think happened? Do you think I drank urine or Mountain Dew? I mean, scientifically, it's been proven in a lab that urine and Mountain Dew taste exactly the same. So, I mean, I guess it's an ambiguous ending. Um, uh, you decide what happened. Have fun with that. Oh, well, hi everyone. Uh, I know the lighting isn't good, but I was just enjoying the uh, last bit of light from the campfire. Anyways, thanks you all for joining me, and I thought as long as we'd come to the end of the video, I'd uh, take a moment for the soldiers. Because whether you're a Democrat or Republican, a um, supporter of Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, I think we can all agree that our soldiers are heroes. So, let's just take a moment for them. Okay, well, thank you all for coming out, and uh, I guess, happy 4th of July. <laughs>